Welcome to Marsville 2018. I'm your boy Rich Shamari, Low Side Chardonnay. And right now, we got Skrilla. The man that bring you gimme. The man that bring you wood. And we gonna find out what else you bring to this year. Skrilla, good night to you, sir. Good night, good night. How are you doing, sir? My name good, you know, good. Everything blessed, man. What's going on? I good, man. That easy. Yeah. Now we're going to jump right into it. We're going to take us back a little bit. Yeah. So I want to ask about faith and you working with faith and that gimme. How that song came about, Skrilla? Well, I told myself that um, the industry, they're lacking an old time bashment collaboration, a real bashment. And I mean, and I wanted to take faith out her shell. So she, I was approached by her management team, um, Future. And he tell me, yo, Skrilla, want saying hard. And they write the song and it fly. That's how it come about, really. And you did a good job because Faith and you doing a big, fantastic work right now and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect. You don't know, man. No, the song you got actually about wood. I want to know about that one. Because that one, you write that real clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, wood? Ah, boy. <laughs> I was looking for a, a double entendre over here to reach the crowd. You know what I mean? And I see an over. What? Mm, the girls like what? I can't know that line. So you know what I mean? I tell myself, you know, like my finger had how, how much for that doggy in the window. I say, you know what? I can't know that controversial line. That whole what came about. Easy. You like use a character, so that way you come up with that too. Uh, nah, the barber. Oh, oh yeah, I know that for sure. Sure, got a question I ask you. So Skrilla, tell me how the season is treating you right now. Well, to be quite honest, this year is a lot slower. I don't know if the elections and the football got things off a little slower, but um, it's okay. Still getting the shows, but it's not as hectic as last year. Okay. Okay. So, will you be doing any touring outside? No, not not as yet. Not as yet. No bookings as yet. No. Okay. Okay. Maybe for Labor Day. Labor Day. Oh, yeah. Right. Tell me about some of your releases for this year, though. Tell the public what's going on. Well, most of the releases is the Bashman. There's only one sweet soccer song that is the baddest. And that's produced by our rising studios. But most of the music is Bashman really and truly. So it's down that line, the authentic Skrilla. You know? Yeah. So you was in the international Bashman soccer final. But I realize every year you pulling one. How do I feel about pulling one all the time? Because you just don't get nervous. That's pressure. Anybody know? To come out there every year and set the pace is a struggle. It's pressure. So, you know, that alone will make it harder for me to bring home the cake. But, you know, Skrilla, I bring a bang all the time. So, man, how you prepare for that show, though? Tell me exactly what the process of going into that. Well, I told myself I wanted the stage to be really electric. So, my whole plan was to make the show break. I didn't really focus on P Kong and all that. I focus on performance. So that's how you really, really prepared. You know what I mean? Dancers, you know, the lyric, vocal, everything. That's how I really prepared for it. So we've seen you for a long time and you have developed really tremendously over the years. So tell us, like, you know, as a, like when you're up coming out, when you're not coming out, how was it for you? Was it hard? Was it easy? Well, like for any break, you know, artist, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody don't really know you, so you got to pave the way for yourself. But every year, once you keep consistent, people will respect you, and you will always rise. And that's why I get it done. All right, all right. Yeah. So do you love pleasing your fans? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I prove it tonight. <laughs> yeah. Your fans really love you though. Yeah, respect right. man, you don't know, love me, same way, same way. Alright. Yeah. Are there any new artists that you write for this year? Not really new artists, but I wrote for um, Natalie Bird and Ramesses. Wow. Yeah. And what was the experience of that? Hmm? What was the experience of that? It was good. You know, me being a younger artist, writing for more experienced artists, is a pleasure. So who are the artists you would like to work with? Well, locally, I want, I want to do a collaborate. I think that long overdue. Yeah, I do. But internationally, I want to do a song with Lyrical. Yeah, really. Well, this is my request. 
and I really want you to do something for the ladies, something soft, something slow. You know, reach out to the ladies, something like wind it down low. I think you would do good with that too. Yeah. yeah? I actually have a Sony and wind down. Oh. Yeah. So you gotta listen up for it. It is for the ladies, yes. Yeah, so for sure. Yo, this is the boy Scroller and I big enough exclusive one drop. The only place for the baddest and the maddest interviews. Well, I should about this girl in the fet. Why didn't she bump us? She's soaking wet. Come baby, push back and just work key, work key. Real thing.